hello guys welcome to mr legend crypto guys in this video we're taking a look at an all coin trezos currently trading for 0.96 dollars what's our relief rally price target for trezos we've well, we seen some signs of life in the all coin market on a weekly time frame some all coins have been pumping on the weekly time frame we've gone on a monthly time frame some all coins are actually showing signs of life even though we're deep in the crypto bear market even though all coins are down really bad in the last one year we can't keep going down forever at some point in time, we are going to get a relief rally. So how high would that relief rally go for Trezor? In this video, we will be taking a look at the Trezor US dollar price chart on a 3-day time frame. We have seen Trezor go from as high as $9 in October 2021. We have also seen it dump to as low as $0.97 in 2022. But if we get that relief rally pumping, how high do we think it's going to go? We will also be looking at Trezor's performance against Bitcoin, threatening to set new all-time lows right now in the bear market of 2022. We're also taking a look at Trezor's performance against Ethereum, which is currently in a new all-time low. Can we get a rally up, pump into higher prices? We also look at Trezor's market cap. Currently, Trezor has a market cap of around $884 million. We have seen the market cap go to an all-time high of $7.7 .7 billion. That was in October 2021. Right now, we're deep in Goblin Town. Trezor's market cap is down to $885 million. If that relief rally comes through for Trezor, how high can the market cap go? Can we reclaim that $1 billion region? Maybe, just maybe, we'll go back to as high as $2 trillion. We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. And investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So if you want to make money long-term trading or investing in cryptocurrencies, if you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions, and chart analysis, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like these. Let's get down to business. One, two, three, four, five. Guys, deep in the crypto bear market, in the last one year, we have seen Trezos lose more than 77% of its value. In the last one month, Tezos has lost 93% of its value. In the last one week alone, it's down 5.6%. All coins are down really bad in the last one year, but millionaires are made in the crypto bear market. The crypto bear market is where you want to begin your accumulation, getting ready for the next bull run. If you take a look at the Tezos US dollar price chart on a 3 day time frame, this all coin is going through a second crypto bear market. In its first crypto bear market, it went from an all time high of $11.8 getting to an all-time low of $0.31. In total, Tezos lost more than 97.36% of its value in one year. The bear market is very, very brutal, but why we like altcoins is that when the bull market comes back, they can recover all those losses, even threatening to set new all-time highs. In the case of Tezos, we saw it go from as low as $0.31, pumping to as high as $8.77 in October 2021. In total, it went up over 2,600% in around 1,030 days. If you want to make money in crypto, you have to be willing to stay for the long haul. You have to be willing to stay when the market is pumping and when the market is dumping. Even though we went up 2,600% to the moon, we had some huge, huge dumps and some huge, huge pumps along the way. We had this pump here that went up 415%. We had this other pump that went up around 400%. We had this pump from February 2020. Trezo went up 600%. The final pump that took it up to as high as $8 before the end of the bull run, it went up 322%. But for you to enjoy the total of over 2,000% profit, you had to enjoy all these other dumps that came along the way. This was a 52% dump in around 165 days. This other dump was very, very quick and we saw Tezos dump from as high as $3.8 getting to as low as $1.1 going down 70% in 61 days. So the dumps are going to come but after some time we are going to see the pumps and right now in the bear market of 2022, Tezos has come to as low as a $0.96 level. Important levels to pay attention to if we catch a pump to higher prices, the first level where Trezos might start facing some resistance might be around the $1.39 level. We are holding that level, expecting it to be the bear market bottom, but we finally broke below that level in November. Right now, we have set new bear market lows for 2022, dropping to the $0.95 level. Guys, there's always that possibility that Trezos will drop lower in the bear market. Maybe we're waiting for that one final dump to the $0.75 level. When that relief 
rally come through and we start pumping to higher prices, another key level to pay attention to will be the $2 level. We might see Tezos pump to as high as $2 and can happen very, very quickly. From where we're trading right now, it will just be a 100% pump for it to get to that $2 level. Maybe we'll get rejected when we get there. But at some point in time in the future, when the relief rally come through, that $2 level will be very, very critical. If we continue pumping to higher price when the relief rally come through, another level I'll be paying close attention to will be the $2.8 level and the $4 level. We might see Trezo face heavy, heavy resistance at those levels. For us to get to the $4 level from where we are currently trading right now, this altcoin will have to go up around 300%. When the bear market is very very possible for this altcoin to pump 300 percent to the moon guys we've seen a lot of altcoins do it and at some point in time we're going to get a relief rally we can't keep going down forever maybe we'll get that bounce that'll get people thinking the bull market is back let's take a look at some details about trezor right now in the bear market of 2022 this altcoin has gone from as high as 5.34 dollars getting to as low as 0.91 dollars in the last one year, we have seen this all coin go from as high as $5.34 to as low as $0.91. It currently has a market cap of $884 million, a fully directed market cap of $905 million, and a circulating supply of over 919 million Tezos coins. Currently ranked 45 on coin market cap, over 388,000 people have Tezos on their watch list. Why would you want to buy this all coin and hold it through the bear market? Getting ready for that next bull run or getting ready for the relief rally that will come around the corner. Tezos is a blockchain network based on smart contracts in a way that is not dissimilar to Ethereum. However, there's a big difference. Tezos aim to offer infrastructure that is more advanced over time, meaning it can evolve and improve over time without there ever being a danger of a hard fork. This is something that both Bitcoin and Ethereum have suffered since they were created. People who hold XTZ can vote on proposal for protocol upgrades that have been put forward by Tezos developers. Where can you buy this all coin if you want to buy it in the bear market? Getting ready for the next crypto bull run. You can get some Tezos on Binance, on Coinbase Exchange, on Kraken, on Qcoin. And guys, anyway, get your popular altcoin. You can get this altcoin right there. Over 388,000 people have it on their watch list. It's pretty popular altcoin. Now, if you take a look at Tezos' performance against Bitcoin, when new all-time lows in the bear market of 2022. Right now, any small movement for Tezos against Bitcoin, we see it dropping to new all-time lows. Tezos has come back to test the January 2021 lows. That was the lowest we saw Tezos trading against Bitcoin before we went on that bull run. But right now, it's threatening to set new all-time lows and I will not be shocked to see us get a bounce off that level. Maybe just maybe the bounce will take us above all the losses we have made in 2022. But guys, remember when the crypto bear market and the bear market for accumulation and the bear market, things tend to trend towards zero. Even though we might not get to zero, a lot of people are scared right now in the bear market. If a most investor wants it, you want to buy when there's extreme fear and you want to sell when there's extreme greed. So when that relief rally comes through, I'll not be shocked to see Tezos pump maybe 200% against Bitcoin. That's very, very possible in the bear market. And if take a look at Tezos' performance against Ethereum, we have officially broken to new all-time lows, taking out the lows we set in May 2022. At some point in time in the future, we're going to see it rally hard against both Bitcoin and Ethereum. But right now in the bear market, you want to dollar cost average into that position. Remember guys, this is a very, very important warning. Don't go all in on all coins. Don't invest more than what you're willing to lose. The fact that they're down really bad doesn't mean they can't keep dumping down to Goblin Town. And if you take a look at Tezos market cap, which is currently at $885 million, there's always the possibility we might see one final dip to the downside, maybe taking it to that $800 million region. That's where we got to during the COVID sell-off of 2020, which means we erased all the gains we made in the bull run. But when that relief rally comes through for Tezos in the bear market, I will not be shocked to see us having problems, maybe around the $1.7 billion region, but the most important region where we need to get above will be that $1 billion region. It was holding really well for us since June 2022. We finally broke below it in November. When we get back to the $1 billion region, maybe just maybe we'll face resistance, but after the $1 billion region, pay close attention to what Trezor will be doing around the $1.7 billion region. And we might get lucky, we might see the market cap even pump to as high as $3.5 billion in the relief rally that will happen in the crypto market. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Are you buying more treasures right now in the bear market getting ready for the next bull run? 
Do you believe the bottom is in for this altcoin right now? How high do you think it's going to go if we get a relief rally in the altcoin market? As we are seeing some other altcoins pumping on the monthly time frame. When do you think Tezos will start pumping? Drop your thoughts about that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video.